Hi, I'm Flo Motlik, CTO of CodeShip. In this screencast, we're going to deploy a Node.js application from GitHub to Modulus. I've got a simple Node.js application called CodeFish, which contains some Jasmine specs. If you want to follow along these setup steps on your computer, just fork the repository. We're going to deploy this application to Modulus using CodeShip. Let's sign into CodeShip with GitHub. CodeShip needs access to our GitHub repositories to be able to set them up. Let's allow access. We're back at CodeShip. Now let's create our first project. The first step of our project setup is to select GitHub as our repository provider. In the list of my GitHub repositories, I search for my repo CodeFish node and select it. Now our repository is connected and we can set up our test commands. We select Node.js as our technology. This pre-populates the setup commands and the test commands for us. CodeShip suggests Node.js 0.10.25, but I want to use the same Node version as on my computer. When I type Node-V in the terminal, I find out that I use Node 0.10.26. So I just copy my Node version into the NVM install and NVM use statements. Additionally, to my Node modules, I need to install Jasmine Node globally to be able to run my Jasmine specs. I don't need npm test for my Jasmine specs, so I comment it out. Instead, I want to run Jasmine node spec. Now let's finish our setup and go to the dashboard. We can trigger a build for our application by pushing to our repository. Let's add the code chip status image to the readme file. Now, let's commit and push this change. This triggered a new build on CodeShip. We can access the build details by clicking the arrow on the right. Here, we can follow the running build. By the way, if you ever need help, check out the CodeShip documentation. If you encounter any problems, contact the CodeShip crew by clicking on the support links in the top right or the bottom right corner. And a few seconds later, our build succeeded. Great. We see all the commands that were run. After a few initial preparation commands, CodeShip ran the commands that we specified a few moments ago. We can inspect the output of a single command by clicking on it. So we can see that two Jasmine specs were run. We've already pushed to our repository, watched our build log and got a green build. So we can finish this assistant. Now let's deploy our application to Modulus. We go to our project settings by clicking on the settings icon in the projects dropdown and then to the deployment section. We want to deploy it to Modulus. We need to fill in our Modulus API token and project name. To generate an API token, let's install the Modulus command line tool first. I sign into Modulus with my GitHub account. Now I can generate an API token and insert it into my deployment configuration. Let's name the application CodeFish. It will automatically be created if it doesn't exist yet. Now let's save our deployment configuration. From now on, CodeShip will deploy our application to Modulus every time we push to our GitHub repository. We still need to tell Modulus how to run our application. In our package.json file, we add main start.js because this file will start our application server. I commit and push this change and immediately another build starts running on CodeShip. Let's go back to our project overview. I will fast forward until the build is finished. After the commands we already know from our first build, our application also gets deployed to Modulus now. And about two minutes later, our application is online. In the deployment log, we can look up our application's URL. When we open codefish-11838.onmodulus.net now, our deployed application appears. If you need any help setting up your deployments, send us a support request or a tweet at CodeShip. Take a look at all of our other screencasts and blog posts that show you how you can deploy through CodeShip to tons of other services. Ship long and prosper.